In this video, we're going to be sharing with you why U-Trips is so good for the current meta defense, uh, which is the dollar three two six um, or the double spinner blitz uh, in this game. It's really effective uh, to use U-Trips. And we're going to show you a really good concept out of U-Trips that will help you to kind of beat the current meta defenses, um, which is in general a five to six man pressure, man free user in the middle of the field. Um, you can actually do a lot with this formation. So um, if you don't have the tight end apprentice ability in your U-Trips offense, I'd recommend considering to get access to it um, in Mutt. But um, if you don't have it, you can use this play stutter curl seam. It has the tight end crosser. And really, we're going to build around uh, the tight end crosser in this example. Now, ideally, if we could, it's actually really good um, to you do this out of the play pat slot out. The route to the tight end in this specific play, uh, to me, it just takes a little long to get open, uh, in my opinion, um, against man, but we can show this as well. Um, but mainly we would call this play for the route, the two other routes in this formation. So you have these two plays that we're gonna go over, kind of some concepts out of this. And then we're also going to uh, use, you know, just something else simple here. Let me see if I can grab uh, like a Y option wheel. Uh, actually, let's grab tight end whip. It's a little bit more versatile. Uh, so we'll grab tight end whip, and then we have PA pass cross. So these are just some plays. But I, again, the main thing we want to go over is this uh, tight end apprentice uh, crosser and how it is why it's so good against this. So if you look at Darren Waller here, um, you know he's kind of like Jeremy Shockey or Dave Casper and Mutt. If you put short and elite on him um, and tight end apprentice, you know, you're gonna have a pretty solid play uh, or player to be able to attack this double spinner uh, meta. Okay, so if you look at this formation, right off the bat, you might be able to tell why this is so good. The tight end gets really good leverage uh, in this formation, specifically when they base a line or even if they don't base a line, you're going to have pretty good leverage uh, with your tight end. So typically the way that this is going to be set up is they're going to man that tight end or that, uh, that linebacker, who's normally going to be a safety, on the tight end. And then they're going to use her, this guy right here. And you'll see, I mean, the blitz is going to come in super fast, really, really good defense, really hard to get open. But there are some things that we can do to uh, kind of counter this, okay? And we're going to show that to you in this video. So typically this safety is going to be manned up on the running back, and then you're going to kind of lurk on this guy right here, okay? So what we want to do here, we've got a couple of things. Uh, why I like Pat Slot Out primarily is for this out route to Renfro and this post. Uh, so what you can do with this is you can leverage the power of this out route with short and elite that's one of the best routes in the entire game and then you can crosser your tight end and then from there slide line slide around right block the running back you can go ahead and id this corner to help with the pressure and this is really simple uh, a simple variation uh, of this play now what we can also do is we can use a motion slant to Devonte adams if we wanted to or you could leave him on this little angled in angled post, or you can put him on a smart routed end. So you can kind of do several different things uh, with this guy. But what you'll see right here is this tight end apprentice crosser is really, as you see right there, open um, against man to man. Okay, so as long as we have a quick second in the pocket, that tight end apprentice crosser is going to get open. Now another thing that we can do with this formation is we can float the running back on this seam wheel. So this is like a Y option wheel. I just simply re-wheeled uh, re uh, the running back. So now what you'll see here is it causes these man bugs uh, in the formation. So you see right here, for example, um, you know, generally speaking, they're going to be like this guy, the safety would be manned up on the running back all the way over here. Okay. So now my user is responsible for jumping the route over here to the right side. So as you can see right here, if that happens, then now the crosser is wide open in the middle of the field. It's part of why U-Trips is so powerful. Now, if you wanna learn my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, make sure you're in our Patreon. We're dropping a brand new ebook today. We got a lot of updates coming over the course of the next couple of days for you guys as we head into October. Really excited for all the content. We've dro we're dropping our 11th ebook today. Members get access to everything. Literally everything is available to you uh, over at the Patreon for just 10 bucks. 10 bucks gets you access to all the stuff. Okay, but another thing that we can do with this, um, again, to kind of stretch 
the user, this this little float of the of the running back is really powerful because as a user, they have to kind of go with the running back right here. If they don't, I'll just throw the ball. Derek Carr will just throw the ball behind the running back, um, whether you free form or not. But Aaron Rodgers, he would have made that throw, okay? Uh, you know, but again, here, you know, real simple. Something like this. They're blitzing everybody. You got the running back wide open in the flat, okay? You got the running back wide open in the flat. Now, um, another thing that you can do with this is uh, through a play like Stutter Curl Seam, if you don't have tight end apprentice, okay, is we can simply streak um, the solo receiver. We're going to out route Renfro, and then we're going to slant Adams, and we're going to block our running back. So you see here, this right here gives us something else we can do. So same kind of thing. Now they have to choose who do they want to guard. Um, and what you'll see here is that crosser is oftentimes going to be wide open against man-to-man. -man. So the user is going to have to go guard the crosser. That's the main thing that I want to get across here. The user is going to have to go guard the crosser. So in that scenario, it doesn't really matter what else we put around it. So like Pat Slot out, um, if we use Pat Slot out, same thing. They're going to have to go guard this tight end route. So we can run it almost identical. We're going to leave this post. Watch the post real quick. Um, I would probably let that slant get a little bit outside the numbers. But you see how that post gets open, and then the slant is also getting open. Obviously, the out route is another route that we want to be able to have uh, in our disposal. So you see how this all can work together. Now, with Pat Slot Out, we're primarily actually calling this play for these two routes over here um, in the setup that we're talking about today. So you would want to cross with that tight end. You get that quick cut against man, and then you've got that uh, route to Devontae Adams uh, against against man as well. So again, Pat slot out, just cross with the tight end. You block the running back. Um, you can do whatever else you want, right? One of the things I actually really like to do is when I'm gonna when I know I'm gonna block the running back, I'll motion him over here anyway. Uh, so I'll create kind of a quad set, um, you know. And then as you can see here, my crosser and my post are both really good reads against man to man. Now, another thing that we can do uh, off of this with the U-trips formation is we can slant um, the solo receiver. So we have the slant crosser uh, piece. And then when we motion this guy over, he's actually going to, we're going to put him on a streak. This can mess up, this can mess up the entire dollar three two six. Um, it, it really can. Okay. You're going to put them in a position where, they're gonna they're gonna be forced. I mean, it's gonna be hard for them to be right. Um, you know, based off of the motion snaps of this, this can put them in a really bad predicament. So you'll see right here, there was my fade going over the top, wide open. So you can kind of freestyle to a degree out of this out of this play. So again, I'm gonna baseline press. We're going to man up the linebacker on the tight end, and I just want to show you. So again, here, um, you know, let's say we're doing a concept that looks like this, and then we just motion this guy over. I want you to look at the play art, okay? You see how they move, see that, see that, all that? Now look who's uncovered, look who's uncovered. The running back is once again uncovered. So, you know, we could put him quick to the flat. They might, they, they're in this position now, they're gonna have to maybe do something like haste like this, or their user gets in a bad position. Very common that this stuff happens, and now I have you know, my, my seam streak, as you saw there on the left side, is wide open, and the crosser, of course, behind it. Now, this is all built off of this concept right here uh, that we would run, which is basically this. We could do something like this. Um, this is the tight end whip variation of this. Uh, you know, but basically, this is kind of getting at the same thing. Uh, it's just now we're going to use this tight end out route, and this tight end out route real quick to the outside is one of the best routes Again, Derek Carr's release is terrible, but one of the best routes in the game with like a Rodgers release. With a Rodgers release, you'll be able to throw this a little bit better. You know, so you could just do something really simple like this. It looks exactly the same. Motion here, and then boom. You have your out route. You have um, you have your fade on the right side. I think the fades and U-trips are actually really underrated. Like this, just the stock fade here. Um, you know, you could put your running back quick to the flat if they blitz you out of something like this. A lot of times the running back will be wide open. You know, you could do something like this. This is these are all real basic steps. Real basic steps. Um, the beauty of this is you can also max uh, max protect around it. So let's say that we want to do something like this. 
we can max protect around the idea. So we want to out route there to Renfro. Um, you know, you're expecting a heavy pressure. You motion sky over, block him right here. And then now you got plenty of time uh, to be able to throw an under pressure and accurate, but he's wide open. Okay, so you see the idea. So really good against man. Um, and then it can still break down zone really well. Um, even this play Y option wheel can, you know, with this tight end out route or the tight end crosser. Either route is really, really good uh, for breaking down man and for breaking down zone. You want to, whenever you're building an offense in Madden, you want to be able to attack the whole field with your offense, but you also want your plays to be effective against man, to be effective against zone, and ideally to be effective against match. And you want them to be the same basic play. Um, because if you can make that happen, um, now your play becomes really versatile uh, for your offense, okay? That's why U-Trips is really powerful against the current meta because there's a lot of versatility with the tight end, and the tight end is one of those players in dollar that is really hard to guard. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about the U-Trips offense, make sure you get in the Patreon. We break down the whole entire offensive ebook for just 10 bucks, gets you access to everything. We already have 10 ebooks in the Patreon. We're dropping our 11th ebook today. Really, really excited about it. I've got another one I'm working on for next week. Um, so you're going to get two new ebooks in the next two weeks if you join. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description below and uh, make sure you join that Patreon.